While it still sounds a little strange talking about the Red Oak High School swim team, the team has already made a name for themselves, finishing in the top 10 out of the 21 teams in the Carrollton Farmers Branch Invitational. For more on the swim team, we go to the Duncanville Natatorium for this special report by Hawkeye News reporter Katie Stanglin. Katie? Hello Red Oak High School. As basketball, powerlifting, and soccer are in full swing, we have a new sport to ROISC this spring. It's sure to bring lots of school spirit and stunning results. Here at Hawkeye News, I'm proud to say that swim season is straight ahead. Members of our swim team include freshmen Zach Anoza and Maddie Hooper, sophomore Andy Palmer, juniors Bobby Kowalski, Ashley Watson, and Jeremy Ganoza, and senior Alex Palmer. You can find these students daily in the morning and afternoons at the Duncanville Natatorium, seeing as they swim 15 plus hours a week. They not only swim this much to stay in shape, but also because if they need to obtain their PE credit, this is what is required. Meets that our school has already been represented at include the Lufkin and Tuska Invitational, the dual meet with Waxahachie and W.T. White, the Athens, Louisville, Carrollton, and Waco Invitationals. At the district meet to qualify for regionals, they take the top two relay teams and in each event, the top eight. Lastly, since the swim team is considered a sport at ROISD, drug testing is definitely enforced, as well as the no pass, no play rule, or should we say no swim. As our swimmers get geared up for their season, we hope that you as a school can rally behind them and show support that's due to these new student athletes. Reporting for Hawkeye News, I'm Katie Stanglin. Back to you, Brady. That does it for what has been a busy December and January, and we take a look ahead next month to see how the playoffs are shaping up for our basketball teams, take a closer look at the upcoming district soccer and powerlifting schedules, as well as more on swimming, and take a closer look at the sports of baseball, softball, and track and field all getting underway towards the final four months of the school year. Thanks to our coaches, student athletes, sponsors, as well as Ms. Stanglin for getting us scores and information. Thanks for watching. Back to you ladies in the studio.